G'day, this is Captain Noob, and we're back with another Commonwealth Spartan weapon. This bad boy right here is the Brute Plasma Repeater. Now, I've got no experience with this weapon in its Halo game, so if anyone could fill me in the, in the comments, I'd be very glad. Although, I do know there is a Brute Plasma rifle back in, I think, at Halo 2, and it was basically a really fast shooting plasma uh, rifle that you could find on the Elite, except it was um, red too, and that also fits the color scheme of this thing. Anyways, we'll get into these attachments, and first of all, you've got a bayonet you can attach to this. It sacrifices a little bit of range and weight, but as you can tell, um, well, as you can't tell, we'll actually be able to tell when we actually use this thing. Yeah, we get a little bit more bash damage out of that, and since this thing probably is best used in close quarters due to the speed of the projectiles, I believe that is a good thing. Now, for the sights on this thing, obviously we've got no sights in now. All you do when you aim down sights is just bring a little bit closer to your face, but if you enable a smart link scope it gives you a little bit of a reflex sight on top which you can't really see in the preview transform here but believe me it is there you can see that this thing is a little bit glitchy here but uh don't worry it's there it looks really good when you're in first person with this and we'll just have an extra um brute plasma repeater there there's a legendary effect if you want it we'll go ahead and chuck on let's say the furious effect on this i feel like that's a good one for that all right we'll get into gunners plaza see how this thing does Okay, so here we are in Gunners Plaza with our Brute Plasma Repeater there in first person. As you can tell, those uh, reflex sights are working pretty well there, nice and holographic on top of your gun. And if we go ahead and go in a third person and tilt the camera around, as you can tell, there is a little bit of a bayonet under the barrel there, and it's in the shape of an energy sword, which is great. Now, one of the things I really like about the Covenant weapons is they strike a very, very good balance between animalistic and futuristic at the same time. As you, uh, for me, it looks like the top and the bottom of the barrel thing seem like a jaws of a beast, and maybe that little blue beam that actually moves, by the way, is like your teeth of the thing, and then it's got eyes, if you feel like. So I really like the Covenant design. It seems like the perfect balance between animalistic and futuristic there, which suits the Covenant very well. Anyways, we'll get into uh, actually shooting some of these gunners. Now, like I said before, the um, projectile speed of this is really going to go against us here, and the lack of attachments to actually increase the damage of this thing is going to make it very hard to actually take out these gunners at a fast pace, or maybe just legendary gunners. Fortunately, we don't have a lot of recoil on this, and once we're up close, hitting those headshots consistently is a little bit easier there, so if we can just zero into the head, we shouldn't have any problem taking these gunners out in more of a timely manner, although you're another legendary gunner, you, you take a lot of bullets to die. Yeah, so, uh, in terms of modifications you could probably have with this thing, you could probably just get away with, um, copy pasting the capacitors from um, the laser rifle and sort of refitting them to be their own sort of thing. Alright, so we'll get stuck into some of these turrets here. Hopefully, I don't think any of them are actually explosive because my aim isn't getting thrown around like a baby on a school bus, but yeah, that's interesting. No, wait, that one's explosive. You gotta go. Alright, let's get into stabbing some people up close. Hmm, that was a little bit disappointing. Hopefully we can land a crit next time or soon. But it looks like being in close quarters with this thing is going to be the best thing you can do with it. So that makes the bayonet very useful on this weapon because you can alternate between stabbing these guys in the face with your bayonet and shooting them. And also the rapid reload from the assault rifle animations and the um, high ammo capacity is going to help that out very well. Which obviously is going to suit you for a brutish character because I'd imagine the brutes would be all on would be aboard with this running up in people's faces and gunning them down in a hail of plasma. But uh, yeah, I guess Captain Bridget here is a brutish character. I deliberately made her a little bit more built up in muscle compared to my other um, other companion characters, simply because she's a big tough gunner, and I feel like that's kind of necessary. Even though, generally, the gunner women don't actually have all that much muscle mass on them compared to anybody, really. But, yeah, that's a little bit of a character thing with her. She's meant to be, like, a big tough gal. Alright. So, working through these guys reasonably quickly. Um, good thing I spawn in a lot of uh, plasma cells on me because there's actually quite a lot to go through. We'll switch over to... Uh, oh, hang on, we've gone into Nerd Rage here. So we're right on the verge of it, so that's pretty good. We'll uh, quickly take advantage of this just by shooting all of the low-ranking gunners in the head and killing them very quickly. Anyway, if I see Captain Bridget, I mean the other me, 
it's time to use that. But I'll do it now just because, yeah, as you can tell, this thing is actually quite uh, usable in bats, which is great. Ah, there's me. Alright, you gotta go down to a hail of gunfire, we'll throw some crits in there. As you can tell, with all of the nerd rage and damage increases of that, I'll have your gun by the way. No, give me the gun. Thank you. Yeah, with all of the damage boosts, we can absolutely mow down these gunners with ease there. Another good thing about the ammo capacity there, we can just do this for days, hold down that trigger. If only that gunner there just dropped quicker, I'd actually be able to land more of the shots on the gunners that are surrounding me right now. But if we can just quickly draw out this thing in bats, we can finish these guys off really easily. In fact, whilst we're here, we might as well go for a little bit of the good old gun foo thing, because holy shit, there's a lot of them here. Damn it, I'm actually out of action points. That sucks. Oh man, this is like your quick draw cowboy Red Dead Redemption type stuff here. Thank you, Mysterious Stranger. Can you all shoot the Mysterious Stranger now? Because sometimes he can actually be a pretty good distraction. We'll take out Miss Blonde Gunner over there. And we'll spam more crit buttons. Game hit up again, but that's fine. Looks like we moved through it. This one should be a kill, even though we're at longer ranges. No, I was wrong. Don't listen to me there. Alright, this one should be a kill. There we go. Alright, so we should probably take cover now and probably think about using a stim pack here whilst that one goes to knuckle. Alright, you've got a rifle on you. Probably not the most damaging thing here, and also I've blocked the shots out there, so um, obviously with this weapon, it's not going to work with penetrator, which means its VAT's efficiency isn't going to be as good as other things. Alright. Hopefully we don't die in VAT's here as we follow that projectile in. Okay, enough of this hurting stuff. We'll quickly pop our safety stim packs just so I don't have to start again. Alright. Over range, we're going to suffer a little bit. And obviously with the accuracy being a little bit less at range 2, that's going to make it a little bit harder to use this thing in VAT's. So, a very close quarters weapon this should be. I'd have a... Yeah, I'd actually want this thing's damage to be a little bit increased. Although I am playing on big boy very hard mode. So that's probably why the gun isn't doing probably as you think it might. If you're playing on difficulties, difficulties that aren't totally unfair to you. But whatever, we'll move on here. Maybe we'll use this bayonet because why the hell not? I've been putting it on the back burner for a while now. There we go, a nice critical strike there. Another one. Not quite another crit strike there, but yeah, we can do a little bit more damage with the bayonet on this thing with the shooting, which is actually kind of interesting. Maybe I should... Uh, maybe that's actually the most optimal way to use this thing. Also, where are all these people? Looks like they've all gathered here. You know what? Let's get some nerd rage happening. I'm uh, not nerd rage, sorry. Uh, hang on. We'll start off with you. And no, we've got no chance to hit you. Let's get a bit of gun through goodness happening. So we should get 50% damage and then 75. No, I can't remember how the damage actually stacks. I haven't looked at the perk chart for quite a while. So you got one of those um, perk chart um, posters, but um, it doesn't actually tell you the individual ranks, so it's not very useful. I can tell you what um, level of perception you need to get it. Oh, is it, is it perception? Probably not. I don't have a perk chart handy, so I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. But anyways, that was the Brute Plasma Repeater in Gunner's Plaza. It underperformed a little bit, but we are playing on very hard, and this thing has no damage-modifying uh, attachments. So that's fine. Future updates can fix all of this. We'll grab our Furious one, and we'll move on to some more creatures. Okay, so there's Swan over there. I'm pretty sure he just stomped on some feral ghoul. And as you can tell, we've got no iron sight with this, with this thing. And uh, when you aim down sights, all it does is you... You just aim it a little bit. There's no point of reference on where the aim is, unfortunately. But as soon as you get to firing a few bullets, you can sort of uh, fill that in for yourself there. So, let's talk about more Fallout 76 nonsense, because I've actually learned something very, very important indeed. Is that, in fact, uh, Bethesda will actually um, add mod um, compatibility to it. So, yeah, we can make our own mods and stuff in it, which will be great. Um, it will have to be on our private servers, though, so that's... That's the um, kicker though, you can't play online with other people with your mods, but hopefully I'll be able to make some more of my companion mods and we can have Bridget's granny running in the, um, <laughs> running in the West Virginia wasteland with you, I'm pretty sure Darth Madara. Yeah, I'll drop your name there, we'll love that, right? 
and I'm not actually sure what to do. Do you want carbon copies of these ones? Or maybe I just take what I got and then edit them a little bit so they're a little bit different. Maybe make their hair nicer because they're all supposed to be like um, pre-war vault residents. Even though some of the uh, companions I do have already have the nice pre-war hair. But yeah, that seems, uh, seems to be a nice possibility. Although, if um, PS4 don't get all of their special or don't get access to external assets, um, if there's no mods like uh, Followers Extended to help me out with the PS4 thing, it might actually be a little bit hard to get the uh, mods going. But we'll try again. I got actually my ass kicked there. Okay, hopefully this time that stupid vertebrate doesn't spawn and stuffs up all of my furious damage stacking because that's actually what killed me. Although it seems to be resetting. Oh wait, never mind. That's actually me being slightly out of range and getting that half damage penalty. Which um, stacked on with the half damage penalty that you get out of... Um, hang on, I hear that fucking vertebrate again. That's it. I'm going anti-air on you, mate. Leave me alone, Swan. I've got, a, I've got a little bit of a bone to pick with this stupid pilot over here. That's right. Bridge is going rogue. She don't answer to no... Um, hang on. All right, if we can take out the pilot. No, we can't because we don't. We can't use um, penetrated with this thing. So we just have to take out the vertebrate like that. And look at those nice homing bullets there. All right, Bridget, you're a very bad road gunner. You shouldn't have killed your brotherhood friends like that. But oh well. Now at this point, we'll be able to hang on. Those. What are you doing here? Okay, looks like everyone's dog piling on Swan today, which is fine. Yeah. So knowing that. We're going to get mod support eventually with Fallout 76. I have gone ahead and uh, pre-ordered the thing, which may or may not be a huge mistake, but time will tell. At this point, I'm pretty excited for it. I know it's not going to be a proper single-player Fallout experience like Fallout 4 was, for better or worse, that is. And, uh, and that's exactly what I was expecting. I didn't expect it to be a stock standard run-of-the-mill battle, uh, Battlefield Fallout game because it was obviously not marketed as such. It'd be more like, and I, and it pains me to say this, a Rust game that you'd be able to play, except to Fallout instead, with the numerous retcons, including Super Mutants before the Master was a thing, and Death Claws, even though um, the Master was the one who um, fixed up their DNA and made them the, ter the terrifying, horrible creatures that we know today. But you know what? After playing as a Deathclaw and going through all of that nonsense, I've got a newfound appreciation for Deathclaws in uh, this game, or in the current Fallout new games there with its new creation engine. So, you know what, I'm not going to be too um, cut up if I see some of those nice Deathclaws in Fallout 76. I mean, we can't let have, we can't have that stupid dragon thingy have all the glory, right? Okay, so for whatever reason, my furious stacking is being interrupted by something, and whoever that is, I'm going to turn them into ash with this thing after I'm done shooting Swan here. I think it stopped now, but we've got him on the... We've got him. He is just about dead. There we go. And we'll quickly back away from his falling glitchy corpse. Also, what's making all of that racket with the minigun? i got to make sure there's no survivors there because Elder Max would get very, very angry. Oh, wait, this is a glitch. Never mind. Maybe that's like the sound of uh, Bridget's guilt knowing that she's killed a couple of her Brotherhood friends. How is it going to have friends with a Brotherhood soldier? I don't know. I make up the rules, and if you don't like them, there's the door. Don't let it hit your ass on the way out. So, that was about it for the uh, Brute Plasma Repeater there. The Commonwealth Spartan mod is actually really good. I'm starting to like all of these weapons. It's kind of like your modern firearms deal where there's actually a lot of content in terms of different weapons. But um, unfortunately, not like the modern firearms where none of them have been really fleshed out all that good. But again, like I said before, this, this stuff, all this like stuff, bad stuff, but... You know, this can be fixed with updates too, and also, I'm really liking the moving parts on that. You don't usually see animated parts on mod weapons, so that is a very, very nice little um, uh, thing about this thing. So if you'd like to see this thing in your game, check out the description. There shall be a link down there. I'm not sure on the status of the Xbox One version of this, although it's something you'd probably have to clear out your whole mod um, repository for because it's like, what, eight? 
850 megabytes worth of mod there. So maybe if you're a huge uh, Halo fan and this eventually does come out on that platform, then it's something good. And you can also use my companion mods with it because they're all up there only like 3 megabytes. Hell yeah. So yeah, you can... I can shamelessly plug my mods in with this one too, like I usually do. It's a lot subtle, this, a lot less subtle this time though. Alright, I'm gonna stop yapping. Thank you for watching, guys. Links will be in the description.